Hey guys, it's BrainyBaby13 and I am back with another Xbox Game DVR slash Upload Studio tutorial. My previous tutorial was if you have clips, you've recorded them, and you can't find them, that is the video that you want to go to. I'm going to link it in the description below and also have a card up above that you can click on and a link at the end of the video. In this video, I will show you how to set the default length for your clips, how to actually record your clips, and where you can find and manage your clips. If you enjoy this video, please leave a like, it shows support, and that you guys enjoy when I make these tutorials, and also share it with your friends because I know tons of people have problems with the game DVR, they're always changing it, it's always evolving, so let's try to keep each other informed. <laughs> The first thing that we're going to talk about is how to set the default length for your clips. So to get started, you want to hit the guide button and go to your settings, all settings. And then you want to go all the way down to preferences, game DVR and streaming. You want to have the allow broadcasts and game captures checked. This right here determines how long the clip is that you will be recording. Most people put it at 30 seconds, I believe the default is 30 seconds, but depending on what you're doing, you can also set it to one of these lengths. And then you can automatically upload. I have it set to captures by me, but some games will automatically capture footage if you get an achievement or do some type of action in the game. You can choose to upload those as well, or you cannot upload clips and upload them manually later. Now that we have our default length set, all you have to do is have a game open. Then to record, hit the guide button and you can press Y for a screenshot or X to record that. When you press X, it will be the default length of whatever clip that you want. So it'll just be the standard 30 seconds or whatever you have set for it. But if you want to change the length because maybe you were in the middle of a team fight or something and you know that 30 seconds isn't gonna capture the whole team fight, then you can go ahead and hit the back button for the game DVR. This is something that they changed recently. Before game DVR and upload studio used to be two separate apps. Now upload studio is the main app. You can think of game DVR as kind of an extension. So you can hit the back button and then you can either choose to start recording. So it will record from the moment that you hit that button until you tell it to stop, or you can record retroactively and record the last 15, 30, et cetera set seconds. And then you can also hit manage captures to go straight to all of your captures instantly. So right now I'm going to hit manage captures. And this is where all your captures will show up. You can go ahead and I usually put it in list view so that way I can see everything. And this is pretty much where my other video starts up. And these are the clips that are on Xbox Live. They're in the cloud. You can access them from websites. You can share them with your friends. You can find them on the Xbox One app on your phone. These are the clips that are on your Xbox locally. They are not in the cloud. You cannot access them or share them. You must upload them before you can do any of that, but they are here and saved. And then you have your upload queue with clips that you may have just recorded and they haven't been uploaded yet to the cloud, but they are ready, they're, they're queued up, and you just have to give the Xbox a little bit of time to upload your clips. If you would like to edit your clips or do any of the things that we've talked about, you can just go ahead and go to the Upload Studio app in your games and apps, and then you have a choice to manage your clips, record a new game clip, or you can create a video using the clips that you already have recorded. I hope that this video helped. If you guys have any further questions, please leave them in the comments. I use this app all the time, so I, I know it pretty well, and I will do my best to answer any questions that you guys have. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Don't forget to share with your friends, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.